All right, so we're going to go on to the, um, well, we can kind of call it the co-main event of the prelims. Uh, Sterling obviously made his debut at Featherweight against Calvin K.R. And hang on a second, is this another one that I got correct? And I mean to the left. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't just say that he'd win, which was risky. I said how he would win as well. Yeah, I, you did. I don't think I could have called it more perfectly. Uh, um, yeah. He did bore us all to death. Yes, he he did. You know, he spammed, yeah, he spammed takedowns, exactly what I said. Um, very boring. And it did kill the card's momentum a bit, but it was a good entry win against a, an opponent who's good. Sterling looked, looked, I think, great. He looked natural at the weight class. You know, he, he did what Sterling does and he did it in a higher weight class. So nothing but respect to him. But what, so yeah, same question. We're going to stick to the same formula. What would you do with these two? next hmm. this one was a bit more difficult because one thing that you thought about that i didn't think about was how calvin cater would come back from the injury and he looked very tentative in there and i think that that did have to do with not being in the gym as much and um so i think that he needs a fight that's going to get him back going um can i point out I, as well before can i point out as well yeah. he didn't just you know you said obviously he took like an ample amount of time off i didn't realize this as well when i made the prediction he needed three surgeries to correct that mistake so i think he yeah, had a surgery big. and then it didn't take and then he had to have another one and then apparently there was still some niggles so if he came back probably you can argue he came back too soon yeah i just thought that was worth mentioning because he you know, it, it wasn't just a, he took had a surgery right after he got injured. Then he had a year and a half out. There were setbacks, multiple setbacks. Yeah, yeah. So, and I fully expect him to drop down in these rankings. Um, oh, he's gonna he will drop significantly, I'd say. Yeah, because he's what seventh and or eighth now, or was? he's eight, eight, eight right now. So I expect him to drop down in the rankings, and but at the same time, I want to give him a fight that. I think that isn't too much for him, but that will still push him and it'll also give the other person a shot to get into the rankings. So I'm actually going to make Calvin Cater against Damon Jackson, um, whom we saw uh, against Alex Hernandez. Um, mm. What was it on the last fight night? Um, I think that that would be an interesting fight. Um, and it's a winnable fight for Calvin. Um, but Damon's not a pushover by any means, so he's going to push him and uh, make him earn it. And uh, if Calvin wins, that's a good good step in the right direction to go back into the top fifteen as far as matchups and fight somebody there. For Aljo, Aljo, I know he called for Brian Ortega. I I think that that would be an interesting fight, but I think um, I would rather see him, and maybe this will be too boring. But let's get two quote unquote boring dudes together and get uh, Aljo against Mavzar Evloyev. Wow. See how that goes. See how that, that goes. so boring. That is such a boring concept that I didn't even consider it. It's pretty boring. But you never know. Maybe they're boring will cancel each other out and something happens. They have to strike. Be. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a terrible idea. The reason I didn't say Brian Ortega is because he's coming off of a win against Jair, and it's just I feel like Brian needs to. He's he's one of those one fight away situations, and I don't think Aljo is that one fight that would get him there. No, I don't think him um, beating Aljo will get him to the belt. No, he's looking at an eliminator. I think Aljo needs <coughs> two. And because he's unproven in the division as well, it feels like more of a... I get where you're coming from. I think for Aljo, it makes sense. Because he's mm -hmm. new in the division. And Ortega's ranked, what is it, third? Yeah, he's third. So he gets a win over... If he gets a win over Ortega, he can make a case of... I deserve a shot. Yeah. 
Whereas yeah. with Ortega, it doesn't have the same impact. Because no. it would be, oh, well, you'll, you beat Sterling, who's f new in the division. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't have the same ring to it. No. And I, don't, I wouldn't want to match... I, I I wouldn't want to match him up against Josh Emmett because that's just that's just mean. That's um, mean it? So I think Mavs are. I, I, I want to see that that grappling matchup. I think that would be interesting to people who can stomach and it. I think that would be a pick 'em. I genuinely do. I think that would be a hard one to. I don't even know off the top of my head who I'd go for in that. I might even pick Aldo. It would be tough. I would actually think that Aldo has a really really good shot at winning that fight. He is. I think. I think everywhere is probably looking again up. It's probably looking for. There's more risk in it for him. Mm -hmm. There is more risk in it for him. The reason I think that he would take it is because of the name. Um, you know, Mavzar is coming off of beating Arnold Allen, who, while I think Arnold Allen is really, really good, he's not a big name. Um, Aljo's got a bigger name than the the, uh, the majority of the people in the featherweight division. Um, so yeah. it would be a, a good name to have on his resume. Yeah, I could I could get behind that. And Alan seems like more of a risk because he's not a name, but he's also very good. Yeah, and that's a combination very, very that you risky. don't really want to fuck with. Like, if you're going to yeah. fight somebody really good, you need them to have a name. Yep, yep. So, and Arnold Allen is fighting uh, Giga Jakatsi. Yeah, I think, so, he's destroy. I think Giga Chikadze is one of the most overrated guys in the UFC period. <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's a fucking fraud. Yeah. You don't, be, you don't um, believe in the Giga, the Giga kick? I think that is the corniest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. Oh man, oh he's Giga. Corny fuck. It was, do you know what it was with him? It was when he was like saying the week before he fought Calvin Cato, he was talking about, we talked about this before. Him saying that um, Alexander Volkanovsky was scared of him, and then I don't think so, bro. He got melted <laughs> by Qatar. I, uh, Qatar. I, I died. Mm -hmm. He just he just made himself look like an ass, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, Volk wasn't even thinking about you. But no, I'm along I'm along similar lines. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind seeing Sterling and Ortega. I don't think Ortega is. It's probably in Ortega's best interest to take it. Um, but you get, again, Sterling's age is an issue because he is 35. Mm -hmm. It's very clear that he doesn't want to wait around for long. Um, and of course, mm -hmm. if he beats Ortega, we talked about this, he'll get a shot. Um, very fast track way to get there. Um, I did consider Yair Rodriguez as well, but he's coming off two losses and risk wise, I don't think it's worth it because again, he beats Yair. Does he get a title shot? Maybe not. Yeah. I don't think it guarantees you a shot. As you said, Alan's already fighting Giga. Um, so, yeah, I think if I was Sterling, I would be calling for the Ortega fight. That's what I'd be going. I'd just be like, fuck it, because for him it makes sense. Whether Ortega takes it or not, I don't know. Um, as for Kata, it might be time to sacrifice him to an up-and-comer. Um, mm -hmm. I suggested doing Lopez for him in Lopez's video. So I'm, no, I'm not suggesting for him, but the thing is, so the reason why I'm not going to say Lopez is because I think, um, for Lopez, Qatar makes sense, but I don't think yeah. Lopez makes sense for Qatar, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because I think Lopez would be very tough for him. He's already fought on and beaten Giga, who's near him. Um, he might have to take on Lopez. If I was him, though, I'd look to take on someone that's still ranked and, you know, is likely to stand and play his game with him. I think Ige might be one if I was him. I thought I'd about that one. I thought about Ige will strike yeah. with him and... Ige's got knockout power, but I think that's a winnable matchup for both. He can't look up. He's mm. lost three in a row. I do think, though, I will mm -hmm. say this, I did think he was robbed against Emmett, so maybe he might look to get that one back. I, I do think that he was robbed. Yeah, yeah. I thought, he was robbed. I I think that I that thought was... he won 4 1. I thought that was one yeah, of I thought the most that underrated he... robberies. I think that was an actual robbery. Like, oh, I know yeah. sometimes we're like, this is a disputed decision, but that, that one was Kai Carl France, 
you know, Amir uh, Abazi oh, type of that, robbery. That, it was a four one. Yeah. It was one of those what? Like, um. So yeah, I, I'd go with Ige or Emmett. Like with the Emmett one, I want to. I can understand why he'd want to get that back, and he because his style matched up very well against Emmett. And mm-hmm. Ige is another winnable one. I wouldn't, if I was him, I would not let the UFC feed him to Lopez, which is, I imagine, could be on the cards for him. Because he's lost three in a row. He's got that right I can see them saying, right, now you've got to fight Lopez. Um, and, I, you know, Qatar takes any fight. But again, I'm going to ask you guys in the comments, who do you think these two should be matched up with? Who would you match Aljo up with? I think, um, I think Kendo's fought Ige before, too. I think he's beat him possible yeah i can't remember it. it's, it's been a while it's been a while it was a while ago because i i basically i looked into ige's fights and i thought he hasn't fought cater in his last seven so i'm like no even if he has fought him before yeah, he can run it back they're not the same fighters no they're completely different yeah so um you could run it back and maybe if ige lost he'd want that one back so he might be inclined to take it as well <coughs> especially looking at the way yeah. cater looked and against aljo Mm-hmm. It's, it's not. A, it's not a. It's not a fight. I would go. Oh no, nah, I'm not interested. I could go. I, I'll go for it. Yeah, I'd be interested yeah. in seeing that. But yeah, let us know for what sure. you think. 